Hi, this video is the demonstration of both the FUV and FUT scar. Um, this client had a FUT uh, strip first and then FUV later to uh, put hair into the scar and put some in the front. And I try to provide as many examples as I can to educate the viewer of the uh, FUE and FUT scar. Majority of the time you have either FUE only or FUT. Uh, this client has both uh, FUE and FUT. The FUE scar is hard to see. It's tiny data scar scattered throughout the back of the mosaic pattern and allow you to shave your head shorter. The strip method is a linear scar like right here, you see, from ear to ear. And this client is unique because he had both FUE and FUT scar and then FUE into the scar to allow the individual to wear his or her hair shorter. Again, the result is varied from one individual to another. Don't expect everybody to have exactly the same result like this. Some people can have worse than this, uh, can stretch. And the majority of the time it's uh, due to genetics than anything else. Uh, some patient will make the patient, a surgeon look better than he is. And some patient will make the surgeon look worse than he is because their genetic can stretch the scar. Um, again, I would like to uh, provide as many examples as I can to educate the audience that there's both FUE and FUT scars there. There's no surgery without scar and it's permanent for the rest of your life. And this client has FUE scar, tiny dust scar is there but it's hard to see. And a strip scar as well right here you can see. And this client had an FUE into the scar as well.